It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Chicago Bears. And it comes your way next on Madden Football. So much NFL history has come from within the walls of Soldier Field here in Chicago. And we're happy to return to it once again in its final chapters as an NFL stadium. Hi there, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us. You picked a fun one to tune into. I'm Kate Scott, joined by former NFL quarterback Brock Hewitt. And we've got two quarterbacks here, Brock, who are known for playing a very exciting brand of football. Not just throwing the rock. They're taking it themselves, too. Yep, these are two of the guys who really epitomize the direction that this position's going in the modern NFL. Yep. Pocket passers, they'll have their place. They always will. But a lot of teams look to somebody like this as a default. A great passer, but someone who can also mix in plenty of rushing yards and keep that defense honest. Ball teed up. Logan Cook after the kick. And here we go from Chicago. Bayless Jones now on the return. Find some space. He's past the 30. And great starting field position here as they bring him down beyond the 40. So out come the Bears, ready for their first possession. And leading them out to the number one overall pick in this year's draft out of USC, a player with immense promise, Caleb Williams. Doesn't it feel like Caleb Williams has been like the number one pick for the last three years? This guy just does things no one else could do. Seeing him in person a number of times, Kate, in college, truly, he could be an NFL running back. But man, he throws it so pure, a quick release, an accurate passer. Now he's just got to learn this NFL game. It's a more condensed box. There's a whole lot more contact. And protecting that football and protecting himself will be critical. And they push this down to the opposing 47-yard line. 12 yards on that play, and a good call, and that's in the first. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. They hit a curl route of that length. It takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback, and the receiver on the other end finishing it, doing his job. Now here's DeAndre Swift on the ground. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. You know, Kate, if you notice those guys that, that love to feed themselves on the field, right, they love to just get more and more. They're hungry for even more. I'll tell you what, that tackle, it prevented something that's going to be a lot bigger, but that back remains hungry. Williams to throw on first. Pressure coming, and they take him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. And right there is the danger, Kate, when you put the ball in the air. How many times do we see these coordinators when you get a nice run, right? You gain some steam on the ground, you stick with the ground game. They don't, they call the pass, and the defense reacts and reacts well with a sack. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. They run the counter with Swift. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. It's a pickup of four yards, and that leaves him with third and 14. I know we all love the big home run plays, the highlight reel plays. But as an offense, these are just the stay on schedule kind of plays. I love the commitment to this run game. Keep working that body. Keep working that body. Keep working that body. And eventually, you could take the wheel away from your opponent. Taking a big shot for the end zone. And he drops it in the end zone. The look was there on third down. But instead, it's incomplete. Oh, that is going to haunt him. A drop touchdown in the end zone. We'll see how good his mental toughness is. If he can move past it quickly and make an impact for them later. So on fourth down, out is Cairo Santos for the Bears field goal. This a 54-yarder. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And the opening drive of the game ends in three points. A lot of them may make it look automatic, but you get this deep, and those field goals are far from a certainty. It took all his concentration, every bit of his strength, to send that puppy through. Taylor has 
has it on the tee and is ready to send in fly. Devin Duvernay to return it. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. So here comes the Jaguar offense now. Their turn to set out on an opening drive. And bringing them out in his fourth season since arriving as the number one overall pick back in 2021, Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence has had a remarkable career. Over 50 starts in high school and a winner all the way along. National champion and three-year starter at Clemson. And really a starter from day one after the first pick in the draft in Jacksonville. The key for Trevor at this level, though, is to do it season in and season out. That's what the greats before him have done. The greats, the names, the number one picks of the past. If you want to become a great and you want to take your game to another level, you've got to do it year in and year out. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. now off the play action got a man it's Thomas and he will score touchdown Jacksonville the Jaguars just need two snaps to steal the lead Brian Thomas Jr. the touchdown well, Brock, they could prove me wrong, but I don't think touchdowns are going to come that easily the rest of this game. But starting out, we all welcome the quick score. Yeah, not a lot of energy exerted, right? Not a lot of their cards shown just yet. They only got a couple plays into their strategy, and they found pay dirt. A lot of mystery still to come with what they're going to do schematically. A lot of answers have to be found defensively. Cam Little to try the extra points. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. Cook to kick this away. Return coming from the six. Coverage team gets him down at the 26 yard line. Back out comes the Chicago offense for their second try. And they'll have a little momentum as they take the field here after their kicker drilled a deep one to end their last drive with points. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Working from the gun, Williams. That's caught, Keenan Allen. Now hang on, looks like somebody came out after that play, a little shaken up. Not sure we saw exactly what happened, but he'll get some assistance now. One play in, and already they're close to midfield. First down throw by Williams. He's on the move. Trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't, and they drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Open and frame of the game, and two times already, these defenders have got home for a home run sack. They get their way. A lot more teammates are going to join them on the stat sheet with the takedown before this one ends. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Trying again, following the sack. Completed here to commence. 
And he's tackled for a short gain. This defense didn't give up contain there, Kate. That was an instance where the more exciting plays were taken away downfield. And even looking to the tight end wasn't going to net them much. And it's a nickel set from the Jags on this third down. Out of the gun, here's Williams. And the Jaguars are there. He's all down. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. I know quarterbacks get paid a lot of money and a lot of glamour in this league, but today, well, this is a tough day for this QB. He's taking a beating. And whether it means changing up some of the blocking schemes, maybe mixing in a little bit of run, or heck, this quarterback getting the ball out of his hand more quickly, he's got to start protecting himself. On fourth down, it's Torrey Taylor on for the Bears to punt this away. Out to return this for the Jaguars, Devin Duvernay. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. Call that a booming 56 yards in the end. And the Jaguars are going to take over from deep in their own side. start out with a first and ten. From the shotgun, Lawrence. To the sideline, and it is caught. And he does quite a bit of damage before they finally take him down. One thing we don't have in football is we don't have that radar gun. But if we did, Kate, this is the kind of throw. When you throw it that deep outside the numbers, that requires a serious fastball, serious arm strength, and he just showed it off. So the big play gets him inside the opposing 45. Brock with a new set of downs to boot. Hands it to the receiver here in motion. Oh, look at this sweep. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. Gosh, I love that creativity of the play call. Name of the game is putting the ball in the hands of your best, the playmakers, creating matchups for them to take advantage. And this time, not as a receiver, but as a runner. That is job well done. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. From the red zone now. Quick slip complete. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. Good luck defending that short yardage slant. Just not going to happen. There's a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. Now Lawrence on the play fake. And he will score. Touchdown, Jacksonville. The Jaguars get six more on their early advantage. Well, we all know that he's somebody they like to have working down near the end zone, Brock, and there is so many ways they know how to use him down there. Yeah, things are constantly different down there when you're trying to defend him, which is what makes defending him so tough, borderline impossible at times. He can make the smallest little tweaks to his route just like a receiver would, and it's a totally different animal, a nightmare for these defenses. On his little for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Now is Cook to kick this away. Here's DeAndre Carter with the return. He stopped on the return of the 27. The Bears about set for their next possession. 
And they'll try for better results this time around, Brock, after they had to punt it away last time out. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Williams from the gun. Allen there to haul it in. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stops. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Toss play, Swift. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. I don't mind that call on the early downs. Give that defense something to think about. You got the inside run between the tackles, and whether it's jet sweeps or a little swing pass, or in that case, a toss, make sure you threaten to the outside. Third down, one yard to go. To throw, Williams. It's a game of 17 on that one. And that's good for a Bears first down. If they get a handful of these types of plays per game, pass game coordinator is going to be one happy camper. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. Here's Williams. He's got it, room to run. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And that's a Chicago first down. To this day, I can still see the faces of the big guys in the huddle. When you call a screen like that, instead of them just getting knocked backwards, they get to be salesmen. They get to push those linemen downfield and then tee off and go hit somebody like they did right there. Looking for a target. We'll just hunt this one into row C and some lucky fan is going to haul in a heck of a souvenir. There was almost no resistance offered against a rush that came off the line ready to maul anything in sight. It was all the QB could do to get rid of that before he gets absolutely clobbered. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. On the ground with Swift. He runs this one down across the 35, inside the 30. A solid eight-yard gain there, and now they're going to have third and two. That's a run that you'll take the result in the NFL every time. A nice play, a solid game, but it's also a run that you know, and you may come back to, because if you were that close to breaking off an explosive one, you'd really break the backs of a defense. Bails out of the pocket quick. He'll make a big play on the ground. That's a pickup of nine. And that's good for a Bears first down. You know, before the snap, you know, right before the snap, you may have to take off if the read isn't there. That was a great adjustment made at the perfect time for the first down. They are now set for first and ten. This pass caught by Allen. And he'll go down here at the 16. Second and six coming up here. Running with Swift out of the gun. And they'll stop him after a short gain to the 13. Following the run, we see he's still out there dealing with some sort of injury. They'll head out to check on him. Plays on the table here for third and three. Williams will look to throw. And he'll score touchdown Chicago. The Bears will each pay there for the first time this game. It's 
seems like a lot of the time, Brock, even if the results aren't quite as flashy every ref, tight ends are even more reliable scores than a lot of receivers are when it comes to the passing game. Yeah, I would agree with that, but there's also a lot more real estate for them to work mm. with, right? Think of the receivers. they got to deal with the sidelines, that 12th defender. Many of these tight ends, they've got a ton of field to work with, and when they prove to the quarterback they could be a difference maker, he'll look for them. Now Cairo Santos on to add the PAT. That one splits the uprights, and they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. We've got a good one here. They've cut the lead to four as they send it away. Has this at the six. He's brought down at what looks like the 24-yard line. The Jacksonville offense back on the field now. And after the impressive drive we just witnessed, you got to imagine that they are hoping to respond with something similar. Yeah, and I don't love to use the word can't, right? But this can't be a three and out for this offense right yeah, here. they got to yeah. give their defense a chance to catch a breath. And turn some of the momentum in the building. They're out and set. First and ten. Here's ETN to begin the drive. He's out the clear. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville. The Jaguars get six more on their early advantage. Travis Etienne, the touchdown. Wow, just sensational speed from the back that time, Brock. He found a seam, got through it, and he was gone. You know, it's one thing, Kate, to have singles hitters, right? And, and you, you love those, and you appreciate guys right. that can get on base. But it's the home run hitters that are the difference makers, and what a big-time effort. On his little for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Now is Cook to kick this away. Return starts at the three. He stopped on the return at the 27. Here come the Bears back out on offense. They got the job done there last time now. Still trailing by a lot though, so they're going to need a repeat of that touchdown here. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Herbert straight ahead. And he's able to manage a couple on that run. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal gain, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Off the play fake, Williams. Down the middle, complete. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. A pickup there of 39. And that's a Chicago first down. I can guarantee you that's going to be in Tell the Truth Monday right there in the film room, front and center, showing you the importance of tackling in the open field. An opportunity to cut him down sooner. But the broken tackle allowed him to add those extra yards to the catch. So the complexion of this drive has changed dramatically now. New set of downs inside the 35. And he's brought down real close to that goal line at the run. They rip off a big chunk of field. 
field, and it sets him up with first and goal. We will not get another play in here. That's going to do it for quarter number one. It's a two-score game early. Back to Soldier Field in just a moment. Welcome back. Second quarter about to start. Bears with a chance for at least three, possibly six. They'll run with Johnson. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. That's got to be so frustrating for the running. You're fighting the good fight. He even ripped through a tackle to stay afloat. But the blocking can't buy you enough time or room to even get back to the line of scrimmage. It's second and goal. Trying an inside give to Herbert. And they'll make the stop after a small push to the five. Defense making a couple of good stops here. And this brings up third and goal. Well, you haven't given up the goal line yet, but this offense is moving closer and closer. Now might be the time defensively to get a little more aggressive, try to stick them with the loss and make a difficult fourth down decision. You always tell me, Brock, it is a whole different world here, running routes, working in confined spaces, instead of having that whole field to spread out a defense. Oh, spot on, Caden. Some players, that's the world they thrive in, finding windows where windows shouldn't exist and then being ready for the throw to arrive. It happens so fast. Trusting your quarterback to make the right read and get it to you. Santos now for the extra point. Splits the uprights. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. We've got a good one here. They've cut the lead to four as they send it away. Fielded at the seven. They'll have decent field position to begin with here. Rockies tackled just beyond that 30-yard line. The Jaguars then running back Travis Etienne, trotting back out to the field. And that front is really going to need to buckle down and provide some more opposition because he's gotten off to an excellent start here. a modest little drag route, but if you ever just need a safe, short gain on the throw, that's a go-to route to target. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Lawrence working from the gun. That's complete. Here's Kirk. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stops. You love a huddle? Okay, you really do. You love a huddle full of guys like this who just know how to keep the drive moving forward. There's some trust there, and he's going to get the job done, and he's going to get another shot, I would guess, down the line. First down throw, Lawrence. Targeting the 
sideline, Kirk has it. And he goes out, just needed one more step there to reach midfield. Team is on now, and they get this away. And it sails out of bounds. That's a good kick. Got all the way down to what looks like the 10-yard line before leaving the field. The Bears and DJ Moore back in possession here. And in a high-scoring game to this point, everyone anticipating, well, even more points as they take the field. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Working from the gun, Williams. That one falls to the turf, couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. True story, Kate. After practice one time, the head coach in the NFL said, I'm done with my fault. I'm done with my bat. No more of that tapping on your chest. That was an example of the quarterback delivering a perfect pass. And the receiver, do your job. Throwing again on second, Williams. Incomplete left side. Hey, Kate, you feeling lucky? <laughs> well, the quarterback is because he just dodged a major turnover. That was an easy pick that was simply dropped. Defense with an excellent opportunity and a stop here on third down. Williams set to pass. Complete It's a pick up of 14 yards as the chains reset. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. All set up now for first and ten. Sticking in the air, it's Williams. Throw reeled in by Allen. And he'll take it up to the 30 before being brought down. That can be a hopeless feeling when you fire a curl route right into zone coverage perfectly like that. Unless that curl happens to be right next to where one of your guys is sitting, that pass can hum in there and there's nothing this defense can do. Here's Swift on second down. And they'll stand him up and sit him down at the line. They'll need four to convert now after no gain on second down. You want to see the term read and react with a little video in the football dictionary? That's it. Jaguars with an extra defensive back out there. Third down. 
side of the gun. Here's Williams. It's incomplete. Should have been a catch downfield, but off his hands and to the ground it goes. He can't hang on to the pass. And fourth and four coming up. Hey, listen, drops happen in football. It is a part of the game, even for the very best. Nothing more to do about it now than shake it off and move forward because the next throw might be coming right back your way. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. And the sunlight's not a problem for him. He looks up and makes the fair catch. No return on that punt. And it'll be Jaguars football. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. From the shotgun, Lawrence. That's taken in by ETN. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. That play good for 17 and a first down. This running back is a mismatch maker. <laughs> That's how I label him on my little sheet right here. Right under his bio, this guy just creates matchup nightmares for every defender on the field. Now head up, first and 10 from the 42. Kirk in motion left. Now the gear as they set up the jet sweep. And they beat him to the edge. That run stopped back at the line. No gain there that time, and it's second and ten. Assignments were tested, and they were ready for it defensively. That's an excellent stop at the line. And it's going to make this offense seriously question revisiting that call. ETN gets it on the draw. And it's a nice game, but they needed just one more yard to move the chains. Six yards to pick up there. That's going to bring up third and four. You make that call to just give yourself a fighting chance on third down, Kate. Take at least a little bite of the big meal between them and the first down marker. And that, that should make this upcoming call a little less daunting. Third down, Lawrence to throw. He has the first over the middle. And this one's worked down to the 33 before being stopped. It's a gain of 19 on the play. And that's a Jaguar first down. Part of the reason I leave you pregame, Kate, and get down to that field and watch these guys throw and catch is I want to see their timing. I want to see their anticipation. That is picture perfect right there. A crossing route thrown that quickly tells me these two are on the same page. Ball at the 33 for first down. Here's ETN. And he's into the front for a game of about two. I think we got to be careful, and I'll raise my hand of thinking that play was just a nothing burger. Because what can happen from that, Kate, is he puts some nice toppings on it. A play action pass, a shot that comes down the road from what looked like a very plain play. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. They send the tight end in motion. Second and eight. And he doesn't see a winner we like, so we just got rid of that one. And it brings up third down. Everybody wants to play quarterback until a play like that. Almost no resistance off the ball and the defense ready to maul you. It was all he could do to get rid of it before he gets just caught. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Lawrence looking to throw. Escapes the pocket. Oh, he's going to run for it. Puts together a quality gain here before sliding to a stop. 16 yards on the play. And that'll be good for a Jacksonville first down. You know, Kate, back in the day, we had a slip and slide to practice for moments just like that. Actually practicing how to slide and get out of harm's way. Nice gain on the play. And denied that defense yet another chance to take a shot on him. So he jumped too early, and that's going to cost him five yards. So they'll only need five now after that neutral zone infraction penalty. Running it after the penalty. 
Jukes one defender. And he only gets this one down to the nine. They only get one, so it's going to be second and four coming up. You know, Kate, I like to call these body blows. Body blows. You've got to be committed to running the football. Even if it doesn't move the chains, I guarantee you that wear and tear will pay dividends later. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Lawrence throwing here. He's on the move. And he will score. Touchdown, Jacksonville. The Jaguars grow their lead just before halftime. Trevor Lawrence with the touchdown. His third total score in this game. Wow, great work there by the quarterback. The play broke down, didn't really have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise, and in the end brought the best call he could have made. Yeah, and you can do it in different ways in today's NFL, right? The, the Tom Brady's just recently retired. He did it with his brain. He did it with his mind, but you've got to be able to improvise, as you said. you got to be able to create when a play breaks down, and when you can put six on the board, man, does that infuse your offensive group of confidence. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Now is Cook to kick this away. Here's a return from the seven. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Bears offense now heads back out to the field. They struggled to produce on that last series, but better results ahead as they take possession here. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Williams from the gun. Short throws drops. This one's incomplete. Hey, listen. Drops happen in football, even from the best at every level. Nothing more to do but shake it off and move forward because the next throw might be right back your way. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Trying to throw here out of the gun. Got to him right as he threw it, and it falls to the ground. This one intended for the running back. And that's going to leave him with a tough third and long. You need to buy your receivers enough time to get open along the route, and your quarterback enough time to find and hit them with the throw. When the line doesn't hold up, incompletions follow. On third down, here's Swift. And he'll get it on in the three before going down. It's a pickup of 11. And that's good for a Bears first down. Calm, cool, collected from this offense. Love to see it. No tunnel vision on what down it was. Just focused on executing the play in front of them. First down throw by Williams. And he catches Maine down the right sideline. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. Give him 32 on that play. And that's a Chicago first down. He just made a difficult throw to the outside. Look elementary, Kate, and that's not easy. The placement, excellent. And it helps set his target up to put some more yards on that stat sheet. So the big play has him well into enemy territory and field goal range. They're inside the 30. Williams to throw on first. Finds his target, Allen. And they bring him down after the play reaches the 26. Second down now, seven to go. 
Williams will look to throw. Has his man. It's swift. That's 16 on the pickup. And that's good for a Bears first down. With that down the distance, this group was pretty confident the screen would get him enough yards for the first, and it did. And so long as it keeps working like that, I bet you it'll be a go-to play for them when they need it the next time. The drive picks up here, first and ten. Working inside the red zone. This throw is caught. And he'll go down shy of the end zone. They mark him at the four. Timeout taken by the offense. They're second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. Second and three now. He'll throw it yet again. Second time we've had the privilege of calling a touchdown pass to him in this opening half, Brock, and you're starting to get the feeling that he isn't done yet. Well, but defensively, Kate, you got to do something different. It's kind of like a pitcher who gives up a home run and then a second home run to that same guy. You are not going to give him a pitch to hit, and this defense has got to start taking this receiver away. That one splits the uprights, and they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. We've got a good one here. They've cut the lead to four as they send it away. This return starts at the five. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Jaguars going on offense one final time in the opening half. They'll have to be quick about anything they want to do here. We're just moments away from halftime. Half a minute to go in our half. Let's see how they begin the drive. First down throw. Lawrence. Quick slant here to Kirk. And he's touched down about five yards shy of that first down marker. Offense to the line for second down. Push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. So it's halftime, and the visiting Jaguars have played themselves to a nice little lead thus far. Now it's down to Florida, where Jonathan Coachman is standing by in Orlando for the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, sit tight. We'll get back to you and Brock in just a moment. But for now, this is our Halftime Report. One of the top performers in that first half was the running back, Travis Etienne. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. Both of these offenses had their share of high points in that first half. Each team had some big moments, and it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break as we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. Well, if you love high-scoring games, no doubt you have been glued to your television so far. And no signs of slowing down as we begin our second half. Find some space. He's past the 30. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. The Jaguars and Trevor Lawrence set to take over on offense once again. And as we see some of the highlights from their showing, his work a big part of why they're in front right now. Having a nice, solid game as their offensive leader. I think we can say he's had a firm grip on the wheel and has really driven them to this advantage. Mm -hmm. 
It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Here's Etienne on first down. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it's stopped. Only gets a yard there to make it second and nine. Okay, this one you got to be careful to just run it always on first down. You've got to break your tendencies. The casual fan, well, that casual fan knew what was coming. But more importantly, this defensive front did too. On second down, it's ETN. And he got it real close, but stopped just about a yard or so shy of that first down. When you don't have great success on first down, Kate, it's a little bit like a hitter in baseball falling behind in the count. And all you want to do as a hitter is get back to a fighting chance. Give yourself a better count. That play, well, does the same here. Now a much more manageable and opportune third down situation. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. First time this game, they've looked to him. And now they're left with fourth and short. As a defense, you got to see the pass. you got to time up your hit, and you've got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on to that one through a well-placed hit. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The Bears and Caleb Williams running out for their next drive. They're out and set, first and ten. Now they'll throw out of the gun. Catch made by Carter. And he's short of the first after a mild game. I feel so bad, I really do. And I don't mean this sarcastically, Kate. I feel bad for these guys in coverage. I don't know how you defend some of these players today. Because they get that drag route, they get one step inside of you. Well, there's very little you can do other than make the tackle. Working from the gun, Williams. And that one looked like an interception for a second. Instead, it's incomplete. Defender couldn't hang on to it. Third down coming up. You feeling lucky? Well, do you? Well, he should because the quarterback got away with one right there. That was an easy pick dropped by the defense. No connection on the last play. And now it's third down. Williams to throw. Catch made by Allen. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Throwing from the gun here. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away. And that makes it second down. You know, as a QB, I'm going to note that in the back of my head. That was a heck of a break. Knocks the ball away. DBs like that, they tend to, once they get one hand on the ball, have a pretty good beat on you and can get two hands on it the next time. Throwing again on second, Williams. And those are the completions they rely on in their passing game. First and ten. Ball set up at the 48. Well, it looks like the defense jumps just before the snap there. Broke the plane before the snap, and that's going to give the offense some free yardage. So they'll only need five now after that neutral zone infraction penalty. Sticking in the air, it's Williams. It's taken in by Roman Dunze. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. That one hits for 30. And that's a Chicago first down. Go, go, go. 
Well, that's sure one way to take the lid off the defense. Great work to find the biggest hole in the coverage, and more importantly, go exploit it. Thinking touchdown here after that big play. We've got first and ten from the red zone. From the red zone now. Hits his man on the out route. And he goes out approaching that ten yard line. There's no negatives ever on a great sheet for a completion, but that's one of those situations. If you're going to take a risk and throw an out route, you'd sure like to see a little bit more yardage gained. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Out of the gun, here's Williams. And what a risk, but he can't hang on. No interception, but nearly a turnover in the end zone. Oh, that was such an opportunity lost. They were looking for a way out without giving up any points on the series. And instead, well, he just couldn't quite hang on. Williams to throw on third. His second scoring catch of the game. The impact this guy has had on this game, Brock, has been massive. They'd be on the comeback trail right now if it wasn't for his two touchdowns. Yeah, and that second one far bigger than his first when you just look at the game circumstances. Puts him in front here in the second half. And puts a little jet fuel in the engines of their defense. Santos now for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Taylor has it on the tee and is ready to send in flight. Fielded at the 7. His return makes it up to the 25. The Jaguars returning their offense and this running back to the field. Ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Motion man sent left. Look at this. The wideout gets it to start this drive. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Hey, these DNs love to get after the quarterback, but the most well-rounded of them are the guys who can anchor your run defense to mission accomplished. All right, here we go. Second down. Christian Kirk, the intended receiver. So they're left facing third and long. I think that was a throw, Kate. It just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it for them. Throwing his Lawrence on third down. That's incomplete. Trying to set up the screen there. Looking for the back that time. So that brings up fourth and long. You know, it's a point of emphasis in practice each and every week, no matter where we go. How are we going to attack the coverage on third down? And it shows a wrong play off that call sheet that time. They bring on the punt team, and they get this kick away. Fair catch made here at the 30. The Bears headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now.
They've got first down from the 31. Out of the pistol, Williams. Couldn't connect right side. It's incomplete. There's the importance of staying in phase as a defender. He was all over him in coverage. And that really did help force the incompletion. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Williams from the gun. Pass cut by Adunze. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They get 22 on that one. And that's good for a Bears first down. Such a terrific job by the receiver. You can't give that route away. You got to run a curl. And the best, like, curl and go, hook and go, out and up, guys, Kate, they run that initial route full speed. He did, got the defense to bite, and the play went right over his head. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. Now an inside handoff to Swift. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. Williams set to pass. Has his man. It's a Dunze. And it's good yardage, but they tackle him short of the sticks. Okay, one thing I learned from the late great Mike Leach is, yeah, the system was called air raid, but it wasn't just attacking downfield. His philosophy, and it played out right there, is you have to attack every inch of the field, both vertically and horizontally, without routes or in routes, just like that. A handoff left for Swift. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. That's a BYOB. You got to be your own blocker. It would have taken the entire defense piling on to stop him from getting that first down. Well done. Offense set for a first and ten. Williams on the play action. Chicago first down. Okay, when you watch the combine, you'll watch guys try to make this throw. And without chemistry, it's so hard to execute. That was picture perfect. That's a QB and receiver on the same page because that route, that deep out to the field, that takes a, just a different level of connectedness. First down, here's Swift. And the plunge up the gut yields nothing there. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. Where one defender failed, well, his buddy was there to swarm to the ball and make that play just as it gets to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. Now it's a bootleg for him. Close game, they needed somebody to make that type of play. Now it pushes their lead to a couple of scores and makes a comeback that much more difficult. You know, Kate, their offense did its part and padded the lead. Now it's up to this defense to make this two-score lead hold up and carry it across the finish line. Santos now for the extra point. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. Taylor has it on the tee and is ready to send in fly. Return coming from the six. 
He stopped on the return at the 27. Out now runs the Jaguars offense. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. Drive starts out with a first and ten. From the gun, ETN gets it. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Give him four that time, so six to go on second down. He'll expect more from himself on those type of plays, but there is nobody that's going to complain about that one. If you can do math, four plus four plus four equals a first down. From the 30 on second down. Finding Davis. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. They come through with a nice gain there. Gain of 10, first down. This really isn't a route design for a lot of yards, Kate. You're just trying to get a small handful and move on to the next down. Stay in rhythm. And anytime you can work some magic after the catch and stretch it out, those are welcome bonus yards. Now give. It's ETN headed left. And they bring him down, but there's a flag on the field. Well, partner, they say there's holding on every play. You just got to look for it, right? Uh, that time, though, we did not have to look too hard. From the shotgun, Lawrence. And he's brought down after a short game. Kid, I don't know why every once in a while I'll get these little flashbacks, but a little play like that just flashes me back to the preseason, my first preseason. And one of the veteran QBs said, hey, Brock, whatever you do, just find completions. You will never go broke taking a profit. Go get a completion. They're at a premium in this league. Second and 15. Chase down to his right. He's running with it. Decent yardage picked up here before he slides down to avoid the tackle. You know, Kate, they always say that QB clock. You know what it's more like? It's more like an alarm. Especially in a situation like that, it's a good thing you woke up to it. Able to make something out of nothing and at least keep them moving forward. The Bears into the nickel for third down. Lawrence now off the play action. Flushed out of the pocket. They get to him and take him down, but there's a flag on the play. We have to see about this penalty. Well, the negative play makes it even easier to decline that flag. That's going to bring up fourth down. The Jaguars in the punt formation. Logan Cook, the one to kick it away. And he sends this away. Definitely his best kick of the game thus far. That hits at the nine, but nobody around to grab it. It carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The home teams and DeAndre Swift set for their next drive. And unsurprisingly, Brock, a great day on the scoreboard so far for him. Has it with the advantage as we move through this third quarter. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Here's Williams. In the traffic, complete. And he'll have it up to about the 23-yard line on the play. Well, that right there, Kate, that is the epitome of trust. And trust in your big physical tight end. Throwing his way into double coverage. You may question the decision when the ball leaves his hands. But it's tough to question when it produces results like that. From the 23, he goes back to him yet again. Complete. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. Give him nine on that play, and it's enough for the first. So we hit the end of the third quarter. It's Bears football to begin the fourth. They say try to hang on to the lead in a close game.
It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Running with Swift out of the gun. And he pushes forward, but they don't get much there. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. From the 34. Dumps it off to his running back. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Something out of nothing, Kate, that may as well be listed on his resume because he's so good at it. Caught that one near the line, and after that, it was all him. Turning a modest pass into far more than a modest game. First and ten, ball set up at the 48. Running behind center with Swift. And he hit a seam and got it to the opposing 44. It's an eight-yard pickup, and they're going to have second and two next. It's got to be so demoralizing as a defense when you go up against a running back who just keeps those legs churning like a piston in an engine. And that effort's contagious. This entire offense is getting a boost when he busts those tackles. Off the play fake, Williams. The connection to a dunes egg. They get 13 on the pickup. And that's good for a Bears first down. <laughs> Working from the gun, Williams. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away. That makes it second down. I think we're seeing why this defense likes him in coverage. He reacts so well to throws and is even more adept in breaking up those passes. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. The offense not shy about sending them downfield to try and stretch that secondary even still. One of the deeper targets you'll see him get. It's a shame they couldn't find a connection. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Williams to throw. And he's not going to escape this. The Jets drop him. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. In theory, Kate, that's exactly what complimentary man coverage is supposed to look like. The DBs, well, they're sticky on the back end of it. The front end, that pass rush, it makes an impact that gets home. But, of course, we know it's not that simple. It is really tough to lock down a full field for more than a second or two. Chicago brings out the punting unit. Tory Taylor will kick this away. This one carries out of bounds. Not the greatest field position awaiting them. It's spotted at the 11. Jacksonville heading out there on offense. And I'm sure they're tired of bringing out the punter, Brock. They're hopefully going to give them some rest this time around and find some points to go after that lead. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Now Lawrence on the play fake. Bails out of the pocket quick. He'll try and run this. And he's brought down. They're spotting this one right at the 20. Tick, 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 tick. You know, his internal clock right there told him it was time to escape. And good thing he listened to it. He was able to make something out of nothing and at least move them forward. Options are open here. It's second and inches. Lawrence working from the gun. Fires over the middle. Caught. And he 
he's tackled with the first down yardage. There's no question the greatest concern there was just getting the first down. You want a high percentage throw, and you're not really concerned about big yards. Well, the drag route was perfect. He comes open the short field. It's easy to zip that throw right in there and reset those chains. And the receiver's going to take this one on the jet sweep. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stopped. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up second and six. This is one of those real modest gains, Kate, that I like as a call. Adds just a little more variety to your play, but makes that defense wonder. Those guys on the other side of the ball think a little bit. This dude's not just a receiver. He may get in the run game as well. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. You know, with some of these tight ends today, you could put two guys, heck, put three guys on them, and they still find a way to make those catches. With how they move at their size, they really are the ultimate matchup advantage. First and ten, it's Lawrence. That's complete. Here's Kirk. And this is marked down right along that 40-yard line. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. I know the combine tries to test everything it possibly can physically, but I don't know how you test courage at the combine because there's nobody defending you. Nobody wants to hit you. But that was the epitome of courage to make that in cut and make the catch. And you slate it down to approach here from the 40. Trying it right side with ETN. And he's able to manage a couple on that run. Fighting all he could to keep his quarterback upright, but cross the line there. That earns the holding penalty. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Out of the gun, Lawrence. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's going to be drove down, looks like, at that 37-yard line. There's no routes on the old proverbial route tree, Kate, that takes more trust than throwing an out route. You're throwing it to a spot and believing your guy can get there. Let's see what they draw up on a third and seven. Looking to throw, Lawrence gets it to him on the screen. And he's stopped at the 31 yard line. Those kind of completions are so frustrating, Kate. <laughs> it's like a putt. You got it online, you feel good about it, it's going in the hole, but you never want to leave it short. Cam Little now to try the Jags field goal. Ball on the right hash, 48 yards out. Cracking for it, and it's good! And it pulls him back within one score here in the fourth. This is a case of, well, just get what you can on the way out the door, Kate. It's already out of reach. Just take the three, let your kicker get some points, and make it a hair closer in the box score. Just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Starting from the five. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The home teams are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback.
They're out and set. First and ten. Out of the gun, here's Williams. Short pass, caught by his tight end. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Williams on the play action. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. You know, anytime you see a player tapping his chest, I'm not a great lip reader, but I know exactly what that says. My bad. My fault. Quarterback delivers him a good ball. He knows that's one he should have caught. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. He's back to throw. Catch made by Carter. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. That pitch and catch won't show up as a big play on the stat sheet, but it gives his own defense a little time to rest and gives an offensive coordinator a new set of downs to work with. Markers reset, ball at the 37. This is Swift. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. Pickup of 12 on that play. And that's a Chicago first down. This offense will take that from their ground game every time. But I know, because I've been around this league a long time, runs like that, they're really hard to come by. It takes everybody, and maybe a little breakdown there on defense, too, to take advantage of. Going to the ground again on first. And he's into the front for a gain of about two. Well, okay, a two-yard run on first down, I think that keeps you ahead of schedule. But you're going to have to pick up the pace. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. It's a design boot. Santos now for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Taylor has it on the tee and is ready to send in flight. Here's a return from the seven. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The visitors back out on offense. They're running back, headed out once again. And down double digits, Brock. Field goals like we saw in their last drive aren't going to move the needle as much as they need to. ready to begin this drive first and ten now to throw and this one won't be caught we're going to flag here look like there may have been some early contact before that throw arrived so a little too much contact on the part of the defender and the officials flag him for it
Penalty is going to make first down twice as tough. They're 20 from the marker to start things out. Looking to throw it. He'll get this to ETN. Broke through the tackle. And he's able to move past the 45 before going out. These intermediate gains, that's the wheelhouse for these two to connect on. Start the series off well. It sure keeps the defense on its toes in case they try to load up and just simply cover the receivers. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Throwing now. Down the middle, complete. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. So the offense does its job, Brock. Now they need their defense to give them a chance to overcome that big deficit. The momentum in the building's clearly changed. We can feel it here in the booth, but you're right. It's now up to the defense to make a stop and give them a chance. Jaguars in a crucial spot late, trying for two. He'll look to throw. Successful. That's a little momentum builder as they attack this deficit. What we say about the NFL game, it's a game of matchups. And that time they get the matchup they want and they go right to it. It's a risky call throwing it for two, but that risk pays off. Approaching the final minute here. They need to find a way to defy the odds and get this back. And it looks like the Bears are able to recover that kick. And they'll get him down after he gets into the 48. Ooh, can't get it back on the onside kick. Can still get a final chance with a quick three and out, though. Albeit not with a lot of time for them left to work with. Yeah, Kate, unless they can force a miracle turnover, and we've seen that before, a three and out is really the only avenue remaining. Defense, go buckle it up. The home teams ready for their next series. Let out on offense by their quarterback. First and ten, ball set up at the 48. On the carry, it's Swift. Cuts it to the right side of the line. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs.
Victory formation here. Looks like they're going to take a knee on first down. And they'll kneel this down. Now a timeout called by the Jaguars. That's their third. And that's all they had. So the offense free to start running the clock down now. This won't run out the clock just yet, Bronk. They're going to have to kneel it again after this one. And he's going to take a knee. There's still some time to bleed off the clock, but the important factor is that the defense is helpless to stop it. You could just run that clock down as far as you're able and take off every single second. Now for one final kneel down, partner, and this should do it. Cutting across the line early there. That's an easy call for our officials. He thought he had the timing down and could make the play, but just a hair too early. Now for one final kneel down, partner, and this should do it. Take a few breaths, because uh, I don't imagine any of them were breathing easy during that one with how close this game was. Them or us? <laughs> all of us. Yeah, Dean, all is, of the above. It, it is so hard, Kate, to match the adrenaline surge they feel right now and that they felt in every major turn throughout the second half. There's just something about a close game, the intensity that's there in every moment that you love to experience as a player and that you hope.